drawn votes of moviegoers all over the nation. Most popular actor of the year. Rock Hudson. 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 Pleased to make your acquaintance, man. The Rock was an icon. He was by far the biggest star in Hollywood. Not only did women say, that's the man I want to marry, many men said, that's the man I'd like to be. It was everything kind of wrapped up in one. It was Hollywood and the closet and the fact that Rock had lived his life not able to express who he was. And it had come to that. He pretty much did change the course of history around AIDS. He didn't intentionally do it, but there was no other star that made that kind of impact before. There hasn't been one since, really. G'day there. Hello, hello. Great to chat with you, Stephen. Rock Hudson only ever was nominated for one Academy Award, but maybe he should have won for Best Performance by an Actor Playing Straight. It was an incredible performance. I mean, off camera as well as on. Not it truly a- was. Not the only one, but maybe one of the greatest. When, do, when was it that he could actually let his hair down, let his guard down? I think the second they yelled cut, to be honest with you. At home, in his trailer, by the pool, in Palm Springs and Laguna. I mean, I feel like he lived this really rich, very uh, sexually satisfied uh, private life. Um, He had surrounded himself with tons of friends, a lot of gay men, who at the time were in long-term relationships, you know, um, and lots of lovers. And just, he had a very full, rich life um, behind the scenes. You know, which kind of contradicts a lot of, I think, common narratives of of the tortured, you know, closeted gays, the 50s and 60s, just in constant panic about being outed and raided at a gay bar. I mean, that was partly the story, but there were full, rich, sexy lives being led, you know, just like there are today. Um, Except they were a lot more well-dressed back then, weren't they? How devastating would have been <laughs> his career if he had come out publicly? Oh, over, completely over. I mean, that's the thing, right? It's just, you know, he was the biggest box office draw of the mid-50s, early 60s. Um, it would have ended immediately. I mean, people are barely ready to handle it today, you know. Um, uh, a, a, a straight presenting romantic slash action hero lead you know name one who's an out gay man right most of the tr- the actors that we know and respect for being gay and out they began their careers being gay and out there was never a moment where they had to come out for most well some i mean some i mean sir ian mckellen among them you know what i mean like there's there have been great moments when people have stepped forward but i mean i don't think you of a level like if we're we're looking for a parallel you know of a romantic lead of rock hudson's stature i don't think anyone's risen to that level and then come out of the closet it's just it's just it's like again it's like it's not done we have such visibility across the spectrum right now but in those terms i i think we still have a have a long way to go it seems outrageous that so many people were blind to the fact that Rock Hudson was gay. If he lived a more or less open life privately, he was dealing and talking and meeting with lots and lots of people. And there are very few towns like Hollywood that can keep a secret. And then we had all those wonderful double entendres in his movies. The lash for you, betrayer of women. Why not, darling? Why not? For a moment, I... I forgot what I am. You'll come. I'd be delighted. Why aren't you married, Jordan? And we got music. Oh, Ron, isn't it enough that we love each other? No, Carrie. It isn't. From now on, you're going to have a new look. No more gay married bachelor. Line after line after line, where it was sailing so close to the bone, and they're almost calling him out for being gay. 
Our marriage was a mistake. Yours as well as mine. Was it? You didn't think so when you thought I could make a gentleman out of you. Well, you married me, and you're going to stay married to me. So sneak around back alleys if that's the kind of man you are. I doubt that I could stop you. I wonder if he's single. I don't know how long I can get away with this act. <laughs> Why can't you get married? It's the sort of thing a man doesn't discuss with a nice woman. Do you love me, Mitch? Like a brother. I don't want you as a brother. Can't be any other way, Mary. Ye God, you've got cold feet. Complaints, complaints. How about does it, Commissioner? <sighs> Yeah, sure does. Thanks. You're welcome. See you in the shower. Okay, baby. What are you doing here? Where am I? Why, this is Jerry Webster's apartment. Me? I can't. I'm too ashamed. Forget me, Carol. You deserve a man. Oh, it's you. I, I wasn't sure. Hiding in closets isn't going to cure you. Literally hiding in a closet. You know what I mean? Like, it couldn't have been lost on him. Yeah, it's unbelievable uh, that they did it to the degree that they did. We live in a world of phantasmagoria, false forms and false faces. Each man wears a mask against his fellows. Well, if you're nothing to say, I give me a light. Uh, I think somehow they might have been you know, little secret messages to the crowd that was in the know. I can't imagine being a closeted gay fan at the time watching that. You know, what must you have thought? You're going down to town tomorrow and find yourself some gay young playmate. I don't want to be with anybody else, I tell you. Yes, you do. It's about time you got hit, isn't it? No, I, I have trouble enough finding oil. <laughs> Come for I thought we could get together, have a cup of coffee, maybe, uh, get acquainted. We might find we have a lot in common. It's crazy. Um, they're very funny. Um, but, you know, it wasn't just him. That was the thing. It was the, it was the times. Everybody who was gay in those that era had to live some kind of double life. It's constant code switching. You're constantly presenting one way and behaving another. Um you know, a lot of people just forget how dangerous and treacherous it could be. Uh, you know, in the States, it, as legally, uh, gay people were considered unapprehended felons. You were literally criminalized just for being gay. You've got to tell him the truth. Do you know what'll happen? I know it'll mean you lose your job and your customers and everything, but you've got to do that. Once you start fooling people, you have to go on and keep on fooling them and... and... You're too nice a guy to, to, to be a phony and to keep on being a phony. So at any moment, you know, your bar could be raided. You'd be arrested. Your name would be. It's like the typical story of that era. But we wanted to kind of get under that and show a little bit more of the, the personal, the sexual, the fun, the kind of the the complexities and uh, of, of that double life. Uh, as it was lived very, very publicly uh, on screen. He wasn't the only one, of course. I mean, <laughs> so many. Oh, no. Raymond Burr, Robert Reed, Jim Neighbors, Richard Chamberlain, they could have almost formed a club. It goes on and on and on. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, like his friend Anthony Perkins, who was some of them were a lot more tortured. You know, Monty Cliff Rock doesn't seem to have a, an angst, a bone of angst in his body, you know. And he clearly wasn't of that school of acting, you know, that favored that, right? He wasn't a, a, a actor studio New Yorker. He was a happy-go-lucky studio creation. He learned everything about acting on the job, on the universal lot. These are people who had real intimate, sometimes very intimate contact with rock. Uh, but, you know, they were also changed and uh, really deeply affected by having him in their lives. Would we have let Rock Hudson come out as gay today? Oh, let's, yeah, sure. I mean, if only. Um, would he have done it? I don't really know. Um, 
the speculative is very hard to contend with, especially when you're dealing with someone like that who is so invested in being closeted, right? Um, yeah, I don't know. Would he have would he have joined Ian McKellen and done, you know, uh, some campy TV and just been out and proud and finally, you know, let it all hang out? Who knows? I tend to think not, but, you know, obviously we would have welcomed him <laughs> with open arms if he had. To your knowledge, there are still actors and famous celebrities who are gay and of course. afford to come out. Which of course, is- yeah. I mean, young actors, even, you know, a very good friend of mine is a casting director. We were just chatting the other day about it. You know, he's like, there are these guys who are, you know, trying to make it a big break on TV or, or you know, do more mainstreamy stuff. And they are terrified. And they're still just like, nope, not doing it. Don't let them know. I'm keeping the secret um, just because they want to leg up and they want to take those those roles. I mean, we still have that problem. It's crazy. It's the it's the it's the idea that someone could achieve that level of success that Rock Hudson did. Right. And then come out. That's the thing I don't think we've seen. Right. What romantic action hero type box office juggernaut has stepped out of the closet? I mean, am I missing somebody? You know what I mean? I can't think of one. Really, I just can't. You know, why isn't Billy Porter like an action hero? You know, why can't actors like that <clears throat> have those same opportunities? Because we're still, there's still a homophobic kickback against people who are too gay, right? That's the problem. Or present as too too gay. It's ridiculous. Um, there's still There are still barriers in place. Is it because the studio heads don't have the balls to cast gay actors or is it because too much money, too much of the budget of productions is governed by commercial reasons? Both, yeah, but it's people not having the the balls to do it, having the cojones to actually just stand up and and say it doesn't matter because I don't think the audiences are going to care anymore. Give me a break. 